recording, we're going to import uh, two cats. The seams are acting a little weird, but hopefully you'll be able to figure out what uh, the setting is. So we're going to go ahead to uh, import the load. And you'll notice right off the bat, uh, there's some issues. Hopefully yours isn't doing this. So basically I'm not having to grab everything. See there's all these uh, uh, fractures. So we just need to go ahead and go to modeling, mesh, combine. I'll go ahead and go to vertex, uh, marquee this. And then we're gonna do a uh, shift, right click, Merge vertex, and I'm doing 0 0.001 merge. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put this into uh, a sub layer. All right, so I already imported uh, my high res, and I think this one's already been uh, merged and also the vertices are together. And again, that was shift, oops, that was shift uh, merge vertice and then a 0 0.001. All right, so uh, go ahead and put them both in here. I pulled up my outliner, which is in the Windows outliner. Okay, so this isn't perfect, but uh, hopefully it'll work for you. Did not work perfect for me, so we're gonna go to rendering, but this is how you make uh, normal maps and uh, Maya, so we're going to do transfer maps. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset settings because I, I messed up earlier. So what we're going to do is select a low mesh first. And at the very top, we're going to add selected objects. So you can see that it's a low in there. And our source is going to be our high mesh. So this is where I use my outliner, select the high mesh. And uh, hit add selected and we go back up to the source where we can go envelope and I want to type in 0.5 and so you can see the higher you go up uh, makes kind of an envelope and then uh, it ray cast or, or projects inward for the normal map let's go ahead and hit one I think it was working earlier so I'll go ahead and hit normal map that's what we're trying to create and Go ahead and hit a uh, target. Tell it where to go. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to go to a desktop. Call it uh, pop. Save. All right, make sure it's tangent space uh, JPEG. You can also do a target file. I think that was working probably better. Uh, mile. Go ahead and make this 1200 by 1200. It'll be uh, ratioed world uh, you can go to medium but just go a little bit slower so I want to keep it at low because the recording time will take forever uh, you do want to go ramp that up uh, filter size three that's fine go ahead and go to uh, metal ray even though we're in my workspace and the very last thing is surface normals. So we're going to go ahead and hit bake and close. See on the very bottom left here it's doing its uh, thing. All right, I'm going to hit the FN F11 and you'll see our normal map will pop up in a second. Okay, and pop. Okay, so you can see our normal map and you can see those edgings that you have. Now this is where it got bad. I don't know why it's showing uh, the low level uh, verts here. So um, not sure. I'll try to figure that out later. Uh, but anyways, that's how you basically transfer the UVs. So I'm going to turn off the high res. Okay, so I'm going to relax it. Hit three. Hit five and then six. And you can start to see uh, how the stuff gets transferred over. So you can see that, but unfortunately, it is bringing over the UV kind of layout here. Um, 
it should do that. I'm going to keep uh, testing around. Hopefully I'll make another video, but at least this will get you started. Uh, and again, if you, the higher resolution you go, we went to 1200 by 1200 and you ramp up on the quality, it'll get uh, better looking for the normal map. But you can start to see the, uh, the feet starting to show. All right, just to get you started, um, it should work. I'm not sure why these uh, UVs are showing up so strong. All right.